Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up Yeah, sure. Well, I'll, I'll put five hundred on there today. What's the uh, what's the balance? Uh, the balance is five thousand sixty-two and fifty-six cents. So five zero five two and fifty-six. Yeah. All right. Well. Yeah. Just put five hundred on there today. Okay. No worries then. Okay. Hmm. I believe the card is under your name. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The card's in my name. Yeah. Uh, I have a receipt number here for you, Jacob. Did you want to write it? All good. No, you can keep that. Good. All right. Sure. All right. Thank you. And, yeah. Uh, lastly, any other details you want to update? Ah, uh, no. Everything's the same. I just wanted to check. So when when I am in arrears, like I am now, how many times a day do you guys call me? Um. I just keep ringing them if they don't answer. Oh yeah. 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 All right then. Sorry about that. No problem. All right. So we're paid up to date. Cool. Thanks for your time, Jacob, okay? Alright then. I uh, appreciate you being. Yep, cheers, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Goodbye now. Bye. Alright guys, job number one for the day, paid one credit card. Job number two, pay the other one. Credit cards, man. Credit cards, don't do it. Welcome to NAB. Thank you for calling us back. That's okay. Pay credit card. Is it required related to credit cards, phone lines, or something else? Credit card. Okay, thanks. I'll just see if I can get someone to help with your inquiry. Your call may oh, be cool. recorded for yeah. quality and coaching purposes. Take my money. Can help us make Welcome to that. You're speaking with me. How can I help you with a credit inquiry today? Ah, uh, yeah, I just need to pay off uh, some of my credit card. Pay off you with the WRC for the credit card you mean? Just pay off some. $500. I just need to put five. Um, yeah. You can go to a different bank account and make the payment from there as a bill payment. So go to like, for example, if you have an ANZ or common account, go to. Okay, so what's the bill of code? Uh, so, customer reference number is. Which one? Your card number. Your card number, what the? Uh, yeah, so you NAB credit card. Yeah, alright. Pay once. So we better make sure that that number's right, eh? 4557 Okay, so that's cool. So, um, how long does it take to go through? It depends upon the other bank policy as well. Generally, it takes about 24 hours to sell. Alright then. That's okay. cool. Yep, done that now. Oh, all right. Check out some of the All right then. Bye. Thanks. See ya. Right. Well, they they said it was going to take three minutes. Um, that took fifteen. But anyways, I'm not going to cry about it. All right. I think it's probably time to put a t-shirt on. So let's let's do that. Oh, all right. So, where were we? Where were we before I got rudely reminded of the fact that um, I owe a lot of money to the bank. Alright, come down here guys. Okay guys, now, what was I even talking about? I seriously don't know. Um, that was that was the bank. That was NAB and ANZ uh, both hitting me up for money for my credit cards, which I've now paid. Um, it's yeah, I go on holidays, man. I go on holidays. I, I take time off work, but I'm living on credit. So you know, it's it's not the smartest thing in the world. Yeah, it's you know that's it's my life, it's my financial financial life. 
I chose to put myself in the shit to make sure that I acquired two properties last year. Um, so I'm still working my way out of that. If I had a partner who earned some good money as well, you know, things would be a lot easier, but it's just not the way it is. So, anyways, actually, I'm going to turn this around. I'm confident in the fact that uh, it's going to keep focused on me. So, the date is uh, Wednesday. Wednesday the 10th of May. And I've got the day off work, and uh, it's always a good feeling. Just finishing off my coffee, which has now gone cold, probably. You like this one? Makes me laugh every time I drink from this, because it's my flatmate's cup. And he's a new dad, newish. I think his son's about six, 18 months old. So, um, and this is the only coffee cup we've got in the house, and he never uses it. So I'm always using it. But you know what? The funny thing is, is that I'd love nothing more than to receive a gift like this from my my young son, or you know, from my new family. To to drink from this would be amazing. If this actually came from your son or your daughter. I think I'm getting to that age now where, you know, I can definitely see myself as a father. I honestly can, you know, that's deep, but I can fucking see myself as a father now, especially after working in the job that, that I've worked in in the last four years. Um, you know, when I was 22, before I started working as a, as a support worker, disability support, um, having a child felt like the lot, the furthest thing away. I mean, I was 22, and also I hadn't had that experience looking after people, and you know, getting those, getting those really awesome feelings of helping someone and, and seeing them achieve things and fucking seeing that them their face light up when they when you take them somewhere that they really enjoy and things like that. And that's really, you know, prepared me. Well, it, th those are the good times. There's a shitload of bad times. Obviously, you've got to deal with tantrums. You've got to deal with all sorts of stuff. Communication is key. Um, so I think, yeah, I think I've, I'm sort of a bit better prepared for, for fatherhood than I was before. And I tell you what, if I do get one of these and I'm drinking from it, you know, it'll just put a smile on my face every morning. And uh, I hope that that's how my flatmate feels. But with that being said, this morning, so this morning I'm just editing up a couple of videos. And once I've done that, I will have probably about four or five in the bank. So on my channel, about four or five videos ready to go. And then what I'll do is I will pick a day, such as today when I've got a day off. I'll transfer the file from my computer onto my phone, the actual video file. I'll watch the video on my phone, choose a couple of screenshots, just screenshot it on my phone. And then I'll take the screenshot over to a photo editor. I'll edit the photo up. I'll change the saturation, contrast, whatever I want to do. And then I take that edited photo into another app called Fonto which is spelled P-H-O-N-T-O and there's a shitload of photo editors that you can make up your YouTube thumbnails with. I really want a more advanced program. If you guys know of any easy to use photo editor that I can use for my YouTube thumbnails, let me know. Um, because you know, people have, I don't know if they're using Photoshop. Are they really using Photoshop for a thumbnail? I, they probably are to be honest. I don't use Photoshop. So I just use this one app that means I can always find this text that I use. So you guys might have noticed I use the same text the same font um, for each video and I have done for this entire series and I actually went back through my entire library and re redid every single thumbnail probably about a year ago and that honestly that point was when my subscribers started sort of uh, jumping up a bit and I think that's because once you come onto a person's channel and you look through all of their videos or if you do you know you might look through a few of them anyway if you see that every single thumbnail is uniform nice and bright a good picture relating to what the video is about and also every single every single thumbnail that you see going through my gallery has the same uh, the same text and the same font it makes it look so much better and I really think that was a turning point so I'm glad I did that it took a lot of work like literally hours and hours and hours going through all of my thumbnails making a new one putting it in the app like I said Fonto putting the text on there not being happy with it changing it again blah 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 and so eventually I got all of my videos updated and we're happy. So right now, um, like I said, I'm finishing off editing on here. Once I've done that, I'll transfer all five videos onto my phone and I will pick a screenshot and then get the thumbnail uploaded, 
put the thumbnail on the video, keep the videos private because obviously I like to release one every couple of days. So I'll have the videos ready to go, title all done, all the tags done, the thumbnail done, everything's ready to go. And then obviously on the day that I want to release it, I'll press publish and there it goes. So I've got five ready to go right now. I've got the one at the rugby field. I've got the one with Michelle training legs. I've got the one uh, a week after getting back telling you guys how things are going. I've got the one measuring my arms and legs. So we've got heaps, heaps of good content. I really hope you guys are enjoying it. And um, this morning, yeah, what the fuck am I doing? I just pulled out the camera and thought, hey, I'll just talk to you guys. Got a day off, I feel pretty good. It's, uh, it's, it's just after 12 in the afternoon. I've had a shake this morning. I've had a shake with a scoop of protein powder, 250 mils of egg whites, 150 grams of frozen berries, one banana, three quarters of a cup of oats, and some almond milk. So that has kept me going. I've had a coffee now. And you know what? It's probably about time to go and train. Actually, actually no, cancel that. Uh, I'm meant to be meeting my mate Achilles at Anytime Fitness uh, this afternoon. We're gonna train some chest. I always love training chest with Achilles. I like training chest with anyone to be fair because I struggle with my chest development and I know that the only way I'm gonna progressively overload and put on mass on my chest is to push it and push it fucking hard. And the only way to push it really hard is to get those last three reps with a spotter. You know what I mean? I might get seven clean reps by myself with a certain weight, but if I've got someone there, I can get 10, I can get 11, I can get 12. I can keep going as long as I want, as long as the spotter's there. So yeah, to really, really progressively overload, especially on something like chest and you know, on any muscle group that's lagging, I think you've really just got to step it up, man. You've got to fucking, yeah, you've got to step it up. You've got to push it. As unbelievable as it may seem, pushing weight to your failure, your body's, you know, level of failure may not be enough. You might need to push it beyond failure. And, you know, it's training solo, it's very hard to do that. So for, for something like chest, I always love uh, meeting my mate Achilles down at the gym. And that's what we're going to do today. So I'm going to take this camera. Hopefully we'll get some mean shots like we did last time with uh, Michelle because it actually came out really good. And um, yeah, so I'm actually gonna do one of my little, uh, little jumpy over the camera things. I quite like that, it turned out really good. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go like this. Once again, and uh, the next shot you see will be at the gym. Are we ready? All right, let's go. All right guys, quick confession. The chest session did happen, but uh, I didn't take the camera down, so sorry about that. So we are at home. Um, happy to report that the chest workout did go really well. And um, with that being said, I think next time I do do a chest session, I'm gonna take the camera down specifically to try and record myself doing a five by five. Uh, on the flat bench, a new PB on the 5x5. Five five. So last time I tried it, got 90 kg, you know, relatively comfortably. I got all five sets, all five reps at 90 kilos. And that was on around about day 55 of this, this series. So it's been, what has it been? It's been, uh, fuck, I don't even know what day it is today, but it's it's been over 200 days. And in that time, I've only attempted to try and beat my PB once and it didn't work. So I'm really hoping this time it goes well, but time will tell, and I'll see you down at the gym for that in a future episode. I hope you guys are enjoying the content. I'm really, uh, you know, motivated to bring it to you guys right now. We're in the final stretch of this series, and I can't wait to make it to day 365 with you guys. So thanks for watching again. Look out for that 5x5. I'm going to go for 95 kilos. Let's hope it happens. Peace.